crystal here welcome back to my channel as you can tell from the title of this video it is how i study so i have a free giveaway for each and every one of you watching this video yes everyone watching this video will get something for free so please stay tuned to figure out details about the giveaway. Now, I don't study the exact same way for each exam. I have different teachers who have different teaching styles who teach on different material. So I kind of have to cater the way that I study according to what I'm learning. But this video is pretty much the basis of how I study for most of my exams. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So first I go to class of course, but I like to record the lectures because sometimes I drift off in thought in class, but also because I like to listen to the lecture again while I am studying because sometimes you miss things while you're in class. Another thing is I love taking notes, like I am a note taker. I know some people use their laptops in class, some people don't take notes at all, but I really like taking notes. I like to write down things that aren't on the PowerPoint or whatever the teacher is using. I like to write down things that I can put in my own words so that when I study it makes more sense to me. I also like to just take notes because I just like taking notes. I guess it makes me feel like I'm more involved and in staying busy and it also keeps me awake in class so I am a note taker. Then I go home and I read. Reading takes so much time so I'm usually reading for quite some time and it's a task. I have to get comfortable while I read and sometimes I even fall asleep, but hey, don't judge me. I like to highlight what I feel is important in the textbook. I also like to highlight places where there are gaps in my knowledge. For instance, if there's something that I don't quite understand, I like to go in the book highlight it so that way when I open up my book and I'm reviewing the chapters I can remind myself to pay close attention to the things that I highlighted because either it was important or either I wasn't really sure about it so either way I'm double checking myself and going back to look at it again because it's highlighted then I like to review my personal notes uh, I like to print out visuals because I am a visual person I have to have some type of visual aid when I study that's why I have the colorful pens and the flashcards I need something visual um, I don't make flashcards all the time because sometimes the content is just so heavy that I would end up with 2,000 flashcards and ain't nobody got time for that but um, I do print out visuals I just review my notes I make flashcards if needed um, I really enjoy this part because it kind of th at this point I know the information so it's just kind of a review and flashcards do help but like I said I'm not about to make a whole bunch of flashcards it just depends on the content okay so I wanted to come and share my study my secret study weapon with you guys so what it is it's called Picmonic and it's a visual storytelling platform that uses picture mnemonics and what they do is they use characters to create a story to help me retain information that will usually take probably a couple days to retain and actually understand me being a visual person, I absolutely fell in love with Pygmonic because I was able to learn about what I was learning about in a different way. Now, I started to use this last semester when I was taking pharmacology and fundamentals and it helped me so much. For instance, last semester we had our electrolyte exam and we had to know each electrolyte and we had to know the normal ranges and we had to know the signs and symptoms when it's above normal and the signs and symptoms when it's below normal as well as the nursing implications for both. Now that's a lot of information to retain but Pygmonic created little stories that helped me understand and their characters that they use that they create are consistent across their entire library. For instance, if they had a story on low potassium which is hypokalemia 
and the side effects was confusion, they would use a character called Confucius and the Confucius would be consistent across whatever Pygmonic you saw. So if you saw Confucius in another Pygmonic, you automatically knew that it meant a side effect of confusion or some type of confusion, which I love that. I love that it's fun. I love that it's visual because I'm a visual learner. I learn by visual things and it was created by medical students. So I'm in love with this. So I I'm just going to show you guys. So what I do is I go to pickmonic.com. I type in whatever topic I'm interested in and there are Pickmonics that pop up so I click on the one that's desired it loads and then the Pickmonic pops up and it's this cool amazing story that comes up as you can see there's my Confucius fella right there and once you watch the Pickmonic it gives you a quiz that you can quiz yourself and make sure that you know the information how cool is that I am so happy that I finally get to share Pygmonic with you guys. I call it my secret study weapon because it literally has saved me with pharmacology and fundamentals last semester. Like I said, I'm a visual learner, so being able to see things play out really, really helps and aids me in studying. So now I literally get to share it with you. Every one of you is getting a free seven day pass to Pygmonic. All you have to do is go to pickmonic.com and sign up and enter the free access code listed on the screen and you will have a free seven day pass. Also, one special person is gonna get a free one year subscription to Pygmonic. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, like this video and comment in the comment section, I want it. And I'll pick someone within seven days to get that free one year subscription. Whenever you guys try out your seven day free pass, comment below and let me know what you think about it. If you have any questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section. Please check the description box for specific details and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!